Okay, first thing I recommend is to back up your brushes, preferably off your computer. Okay, and next I recommend that you place that brushes folder in a logical place on your hard drive. For me, I put it in my pictures folder, I have a Photoshop tools folder in there, and that's where I put all my actions, brushes, plugins, etc. This makes it easier to back up that folder. And also, I don't load my brushes directly into the Photoshop um, folders because if you should lose your preferences in Photoshop, you'll lose your brushes. So I prefer to load them from external folders. Okay, so how do we load these Photoshop brushes into Photoshop? First, we'll make sure that our brushes tool is selected. We'll open up our brushes palette in the flyout menu. Select load brushes. We'll navigate over to where the brushes were. I'll go ahead and back out of here so you can see where I went. Mine was in pictures, Photoshop tools, brushes, Let's see, where is it at? French Kiss Brushes, and then the French Kiss, French Kiss Script is what I'm going to open right now. Open, and if you, if I scroll down here, you'll see that the script brushes are there. Okay, now in Photoshop Elements, you need to go up here to Edit, open your Preset Manager, and then in the Brushes, select load again navigate over to those brushes open up the script and load and press done that's it okay let me show you how easy it is to use these Photoshop brushes I'm back here in Photoshop and I already have an image open that has a French kiss texture all right, let's add another layer. And then with our brushes tool selected, we're going to open up our brushes palette or panel, I guess they're called on CS5 now. And I'm going to select a text brush. That looks good. Close that up. And now I'm going to select a color for my brush. If I hold down Option or Alt on your keyboard, the eyedropper tool comes up and you can click anywhere in your image. I'm going to collect, I'm going to click here in this green on the stem. All right, you get kind of a preview here of what your brush is like, and I can see it's probably bigger than what I'd like. So using the bracket keys on the keyboard, I'm going to use the left bracket key to make this smaller. You see that getting smaller? Using the right bracket key makes it bigger. Let's do the left bracket key. That looks good. Now all I have to do now is click. It's just like using a rubber stamp when you use this script brushes. Just click once. And then I can set my layer to a different blend mode. Let's try Linear Burn. That makes it pretty dark. Maybe back off to Multiply. That looks a little bit better. And I can also change my opacity if I like. Let's say that we want to rotate the script that we just placed here. There's actually two ways to, you could do this. With the layer selected that has the brushwork on it, hit Command-T on PCB control t to bring up your transform tool and then just grab one of those handles and rotate and then hit enter when you're done okay the other way that you could place rotated text would be let's turn off that layer add another layer and then in your brush presets let me open this up in the brush tip shape you can change the angle of the brush here either by putting in a number or by just grabbing one of these little handles and rotating on this arrow and circle here. 
Okay. Now you can get pretty fancy in these brush presets. I'm not going to go into all the details here. I have some great links and tutorials on the website if you want to delve into that further. Okay, I'm going to use one more brush to finish up this image. I'm going to add another layer. Go back to my brush tool. Open up the panel. Let's select one of these script brushes. It's a little bit big. Again, I'm going to use the bracket key and the left bracket to make it smaller. I'm going to choose the color again by holding down my op or option or alt on the PC keyboard key rather, selecting somewhere in the image. I'm going to get that orange image. Click once with the mouse. Alright, I'm going to change the blend mode to multiply and I'm going to lighten the opacity a little bit. Pretty easy. Now if you want to get fancy, if you if there's part of your image being hidden that you don't want to be, you can add a layer mask. And then we'll change our brush to one of these rounded soft brushes. Let's make it a lot smaller though. I'm using my left bracket key again. And then with the black selected in the colors, just brush over your layer mask to take it off of areas that you don't want it to be. Okay, well it's that easy. Have fun and be sure to post your images on the Facebook page or the Flickr group.